and I know you're coming at it from a slightly different perspective, so why don't you tell us? Yeah, well, our company look at technology stories from a customer perspective, and we break down the hype, the hyperbole surrounding technologies. In particular, there's so much hype around AI, what it can do, what it's capable of, and there's also a great deal of confusion. So, so we look at it from a customer perspective, telling brand stories. We work with companies like IBM, Siemens, Huawei, Oracle, to explain the customer's perspectives and to ensure that they're actually communicating their product values in the right way. You, uh, you work on behalf of a lot of tech companies. You must have seen AI rise up as an area of communications over the last year. For you, what are the sort of uh, marketing con and communication issues around AI? It's a, it's a difficult topic to explain to the layman. Uh, it's, there's a lot of definitions yeah. under the broad umbrella of AI. So how do you meet that challenge? Yeah, I, I, I think there's so many different ideas of what AI is from a customer perspective. You know, everything from, you know, Alexa through to how, how does Netflix decide what movies I should be watching? You know, how does this all happen? Um, and, you know, breaking it down in a way where you're writing about AI from a perspective of, yeah, this, this is how the algorithms work. This is how data is actually translated and used um, and then improved upon as time goes by. So it's about choices. It's about understanding uh, that perception area, you know, the customer perception of the value. Mm. How does it add value to me. Mm. Um, but, you know, there's also some amazing breakthroughs. I mean, Space Tech, a company that I've been talking to recently um, in the field of mammograms um, and cancer detection, mm. um, their ANNs, their artificial neural networks, are now able to detect with 98% accuracy um, abnormal cells in a mammogram, which is up from 54% with regular doctors due to tiredness, you know, um, misunderstanding, misinterpretation or lack of education in some respects. How long um, do you think it will take before? So you're right, and there's a lot of interesting uh, developments in medical and AI. Yeah. You know, DeepMind in the UK is a great yeah. example, doing very similar things around sort of detecting eye disease. But at the end of the day, as it stands, patients are not going to necessarily trust uh, what they perceive to be decisions taken by a faceless algorithm. So again, from a communications perspective, how do you build that trust with you know, your average everyday consumer who you know, may be confused by these technologies and still wants to essentially hear the messages from a human? Yeah, I mean, I think the actual fact that there is so much success, you know, it is such an enabler for the patients as well um, to be able to say, well, this is, this is technology that can actually make a huge difference to my life. Um, not just decide what channels I'm watching, but can actually <laughs> detect something that, you know, a normal doctor might miss. And it's getting better and better and better. I mean, SpaceX are predicting that by the end of next year, they'll have 100% accuracy, which is, is phenomenal. Um, so the value element is there and telling the story in a way that isn't, you know, there's so much technical data analytics broken down that really go over the heads of everyday people, patients. They just want to know, will this work for me? Will this tell me what I need to know um, so that I can get on with the business of recovering? Mm.